Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that lie within the non-living matter that surrounds us every day? Consider this. Every object you see, touch, or interact with is made up of atoms and molecules, the basic building blocks of life itself. Your coffee table, the air you breathe, the food you eat, the screen you're staring at right now, all are composed of these tiny particles. They're the same particles that constitute the cells in your body, the neurons in your brain, the heart that pumps life-sustaining blood through your veins. Yet, there's a profound difference between these two types of matter. One is alive, the other is not. But what makes this distinction? Why is a rock simply a rock while a single cell can grow, reproduce and evolve into a complex organism like a human being? This question is one of the most intriguing puzzles in the realm of science. At first glance, the answer might seem obvious. Living matter is complex, dynamic and organized, while non-living matter is static and unchanging. But delve deeper, and you'll find that the divide is not so clear-cut. After all, even non-living matter can exhibit complex behaviors under the right conditions. Think about the intricate patterns of a snowflake, or the way a river carves its path through a landscape over time. Science has made great strides in understanding the nature of life and the characteristics that distinguish living from non-living matter. Yet the complete picture is still elusive. There's a theory that life is a fundamental property of the universe, just like gravity or electromagnetism. But how this property emerges from the interplay of atoms and molecules remains a mystery. Perhaps the answer lies in the realm of quantum physics, where particles can be in two places at once, and the act of observing can change the outcome. Or perhaps it lies in an undiscovered law of nature, waiting to be revealed by the next Einstein or Hawking. So, non-living matter, despite its seeming simplicity, holds profound mysteries that continue to puzzle scientists. Imagine a gene so powerful it could alter the fundamental laws of physics. Just let that sink in for a moment. We're talking about a sequence of DNA, the basic building block of life as we know it, wielding the power to manipulate the very fabric of reality. This notion might seem like it's been plucked straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, but it's a theoretical concept that scientists are actively considering. Why? Well, because it's this kind of revolutionary thinking that fuels the engine of scientific progress. Let's take a moment to ponder the implications of such a gene. If it were to exist, it could mean that life itself has the capacity to influence the cosmos on a level that we've never even thought possible. We could be looking at a universe where the laws of physics are not fixed but malleable, subject to change by the very entities they govern. Imagine the extraordinary possibilities that could open up. Could we, for instance, modify the gene to control gravity, allowing us to float freely in the air, or manipulate the speed of light, enabling us to travel vast distances in the blink of an eye, or even meddle with time itself? Of course, this is all purely theoretical at this stage, We've yet to discover any evidence that such a gene exists. But the beauty of science lies not just in what we know, but also in what we don't know. The unknown drives us to question, to explore, to push our boundaries. It's the reason we've been able to unlock so many of the universe's secrets and why we'll continue to do so. The idea of a gene that could change the laws of physics is mind-boggling, but it's these kinds of audacious ideas that push the boundaries of our understanding. And who knows? The next big scientific breakthrough could be just around the corner. It's a thrilling thought, isn't it? Why is life fundamental? What makes it so essential to our understanding of the universe? Let's take a moment to ponder on the essence of life. Life as we know it is a process that harnesses energy and reproduces. It's a series of complex biochemical reactions, a dance of molecules that creates something far greater than the sum of its parts. And this process, this dance, is a crucial part of the cosmic order. Life's existence is a testament to the limitless possibilities of the universe. It stands as proof that the laws of nature, as we understand them, can be bent and shaped in ways that allow for the emergence of self-replicating, energy-harnessing systems. The existence of life, in all its vibrant diversity, is a beacon of hope that shows us just how versatile and adaptable the universe can be. But why is this so important? Why does life matter so much in our understanding of the universe? The answer lies in the profound questions that life's existence raises. Questions about the nature of the universe and our place in it. Questions about the meaning and purpose of existence. Life in its many forms challenges us to rethink our understanding of the universe. It forces us to question our assumptions and to seek out new knowledge. It inspires us to dream, 
to imagine and to strive for a deeper understanding of the world around us. Life also serves as a mirror, reflecting back at us the complexity and beauty of the universe, it's a reminder of the intricate tapestry of existence, a testament to the delicate balance of forces that shape our reality. The existence of life is a puzzle that science is still working to solve. It's a mystery that continues to captivate us, to draw us in with its complexity and its resilience. It's a challenge that pushes us to the very limits of our understanding, forcing us to confront the unknown and to grapple with the fundamental mysteries of existence. Life, in all its complexity and mystery, is a fundamental aspect of the universe that continues to fascinate and perplex us. How do these elements, non-living matter, the hypothetical gene and life itself, connect? Let's pull back the curtain and delve into the intricate web of interconnections that binds these concepts together. Imagine non-living matter. It's the raw material, the building blocks of everything from the smallest grain of sand to the most colossal galaxies. It's the canvas on which the universe paints its majestic portrait. But within this non-living matter, something extraordinary happens. A hypothetical gene emerges, a gene that has the potential to defy the laws of physics as we understand them. This gene, like a master key, unlocks new possibilities, new ways of interpreting and interacting with the world around us. It's like discovering a new color in the rainbow, or a new note in the musical scale. It changes the game, rewriting the rules that govern the universe. But what's the purpose of this game changer? What role does it play in the grand scheme of things? Here's where life comes into the picture. Life, in all its myriad forms and complexities, is the manifestation of these changes. It's the fruit born of the interplay between non-living matter and this unique gene. Life as we know it could not exist without the properties of non-living matter and the transformative potential of this hypothetical gene. From the simplest organisms, to the most complex ecosystems, every aspect of life is a testament to this intricate dance between matter, gene, and life. And yet, these elements don't exist in isolation. They are part of a broader picture, a jigsaw puzzle that makes up the universe and our understanding of it. Each piece, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem, plays a critical role in the grand scheme of things. So, when we consider non-living matter, the hypothetical gene and life, we're not just looking at individual elements, we're exploring the threads that weave together the rich tapestry of existence. These elements, seemingly disparate, are all part of the grand tapestry of the universe. So, what have we learned from this exploration of non-living matter, the hypothetical gene, and life? Well, we ventured into the unseen world of non-living matter, probing into the silent yet dynamic activity of atoms and molecules. We've discovered that even in their seemingly inert state, they hold the potential for life, bound by physical laws yet mysteriously capable of evolution and transformation. We've also journeyed into the realm of the hypothetical gene that appears to defy the laws of physics, an enigma wrapped in riddles. This gene challenges our understanding of the natural world, prompting us to rethink our assumptions and push the boundaries of our knowledge. Then, we've explored the fundamental importance of life, realizing that it's not just about existence but about the ability to grow, change, and interact with the environment. Life, we've discovered, is fundamental, not just on Earth, but across the vast expanses of the cosmos. But perhaps most importantly, we've seen how these three mysteries are interconnected, how non-living matter, the hypothetical gene and life, are threads in a complex tapestry, each influencing and being influenced by the others. It's not just a matter of one leading to the other, but of a dynamic reciprocal relationship that shapes our universe and our place within it. And as we've delved into these mysteries, we've realized the importance of continuing to ask questions, to not be content with what we know but to push the boundaries of our understanding, to probe deeper, to explore further, because it's through this relentless pursuit of knowledge that we unravel the fascinating complexities of our universe. So, let's keep asking, let's keep exploring, let's delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe and our existence within it. For it's in the questioning, in the seeking, that we find the answers. As we delve into these mysteries, we continue to unravel the fascinating complexities of our universe. And remember, every question we answer only leads to more questions. That's the beauty of science.